Like many cyclists, Peter Murray thinks London is a dangerous place. I cycle as though everybody is out to kill me. But unlike many, he may be able to do something about it. The big roads are really dangerous. Because Peter Murray is a leading expert on city design and serves on the mayor's design advisory group. And he's also a passionate long-distance cyclist who has been collecting evidence about the cycling provision in every city he's cycled through. Copenhagen, Rotterdam, Amsterdam, Cincinnati, Chicago, Cannes, Lyon, Paris. So we joined Peter Murray on his final city visit before he reports to the mayor's cycling advisor to Seville in Spain. <laughs> It's interesting to see what happens when we come up to this junction here. And he has a personal reason to be interested in junctions. His friend and fellow architectural expert, Francis Golding, was killed in London last month. Francis Golding was cycling uh, straight on at a junction um, not too dissimilar to this. He was killed when a coach turned left. But in Seville, they do things differently. Cyclists are taken off the road, they're put, they share the pavement with the pedestrian. It means that then cyclists are separated from vehicles and are less likely to be knocked over and killed. So if this had been in place, it would definitely have saved his and many other people's lives. Peter Murray says in just six years, Seville has spent around £30 million on its cycle network, and London could learn from it. This is a part of what the Americans call road dieting, it's semicircular concrete sections which are obviously plugged into the roadway. We've come right the way across town and we've been on a protected route the whole way. In London, just in the last few weeks, there's been six people killed. Of course, London streets are generally narrower and this Seville cyclist told us some motorists still don't pay enough attention to the cycle routes when they meet the road. I think it's not self safe, eh? because, you know, the, uh, the mentality of the driver in, in Seville must change. So, after cycling through 40 cities, what will Peter Murray be recommending London should do? People changing their behaviour through information, changing their behaviour through the law, and then changing their behaviour through infrastructure. We need to have a radical change in the quality of infrastructure. The mayor has the money to do that, and the sooner he can implement it all, the better. Is he just chasing rainbows, or will Boris Johnson think it's a vision worth pursuing? We'll find out in the coming months. Gareth Furby, BBC London News.